Hi parents, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Asha's show. So this morning we're having with us uh, one of our parents, a Christian children family, our father in the Lord, um, Pastor Ashimolowo. So he is the pastor of RCCG, uh, the Potter's House in Edinburgh, um, Scotland. So he has come today, you know, to um, to discuss on God appearance. So we'll be taking it from where we stopped last week. And we'll be focusing on how parents can be examples to uh, to their children. And um, yeah, so today I hope this one uh, bless us. So over to you, sir. Good to have you this morning. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. And thank you for the good job that you've been doing. Uh, you've been raising children, not just children for now, but um, the truth is you're actually training up nations because um, it is the, the children of today that will become the leaders of tomorrow. So thank you for the good work that um, you've been doing. Ma. And thank good you, afternoon, sir. parents, to those that are out there. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, we're talking about being godly parents. And I think I want to focus more today about we parents understanding that um, we are role models to our children. And the importance of that is that um, whatsoever we do, our children are learning from us. They're learning much more from what they see us do than the, than the things that we say to them. A lot of time we tell them so many things that they forget. But the things that they see us do, they don't forget it. So if we have that consciousness, then we know that wherever we are, whatever we are doing, we are a role model that some are learning from. And that helps us as parents too. Many of us as parents, we don't even know this God we are talking about. We are not godly ourselves. And there is no way that you can give what you don't have. We have to know this God ourselves so that we can then, our, our actions, our, the things that we do can be influenced by that and then the children can learn from them. So I want to encourage all we parents to pay more time, devote more time to studying the word of God, getting to know who this God we are talking about is, and then it affects the things that we do, and our children can then pick those things up from us. Uh, somebody says that um, uh, the, a lot of what children picks up from us, they are, they are picked up from when we don't even know they are watching us. And um, there's a Bible passage in the book of um, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, that says that, it says, train up a, children, a child in the way that they should go. And when they go, grow up, they won't depart from it. So when we're talking about this training, we train by showing them examples. The best way we can train our children is to show them examples. And um, I want to say this, honestly, a lot of, most, most parents, because of the nature of the way things are in the world now, we are too busy. Yes. We are busy to the extent that we don't have time for our children. Yes. And it therefore means that these children, they don't have sufficient time to learn from us. So they pick up what they're learning from the internet, from their friends. And those things may be against what we, what our values are, what our, our own values are. So if we want them to learn, to pick up the right things, they, they, our values, then we need to spend time with them. And do we even know our values? What, what are our own values? Children, are, they are looking for this. They are looking for examples. They are looking for role models. And we should be there to give them this because there, there is any, leg, no matter what we, what we provide for them, the one thing that cannot be taken away from them, they are the, they are the education that we give them now. The things that they are able to pick up from us. If we leave them money, inheritance, those things, they, they can be spent. But the knowledge they picked up from us, it stays with them forever. 
So I've talked about having quality time to play with them, which is very, very important because it is in the process of playing with our children that they learn certain things that helps them to build, that helps them to understand how to do things. And they will go outside to go and, meet, to go and replicate the things that they've seen us do. Paul said that they say, follow my example. So we should let them, we should lay those examples and let them follow them. And I want to mention about um, how we uh, channeling the skills of our children. When we relate with our children, they have a lot of skills that we will have seen and observed. We should channel it constructively. They may start in a way that it looks like this thing that they're doing. But if we are able to identify this in their skills, then we are able to channel those skills in a constructive way that, that will be useful for them in the future. Um, I know time will not permit, but I just briefly, if you allow me, I want to briefly talk about discipline. It is but, very important in this, our day and time that um, we create, we let, we discipline our children. Because if we don't, they will become problem for us in the future. So we need to make sure that we are giving them, let them understand the con there is consequences, consequences for every of their actions. If they know that there is consequences from their actions and therefore they will be careful in what they do. Consequences in the sense that how does it affect people, my actions, this thing I'm about to do, how does it affect those around me? When they know that the implication of what they what they they do that it has effect not just on themselves and but also the people around them, they are careful in choosing what they do well. And um, discipline, we need to make sure that we discipline our children in love, not out of anger. Mm -hmm. A lot of us we we we. When they do something wrong, we want to deal with it in the heat of that argument. And instead of that being productive, it tends, it works out to be counterproductive. Let's, let's learn to walk them through what they've done. What is the impact? What are the better ways that they could have chose to do this? Same thing? Oh, what are better ways of doing whatever they have done? Through those process, they will be able to learn. Hmm. Not what we say to them, but they learn, it comes from them. They brought it out, so it sticks more with them. And we should very much avoid responding in anger to them because at the end of the day, when we do that in anger, we, we, it, it doesn't bring out the best in them. So I'll let you, um, if you have other questions that you want to ask me about some of these things, ma'am. Yes, uh, thank you so much for your time. Thanks again. Uh, good to have you on board. So, sir, my question would be, um, for example, you know, um, you know, we started this program on this um, series on godly parents and on evangelists. I can tell you last week on um, discuss on what godly parents should be doing. And you've come, you know, to emphasize on, you know, godly parent needs to be, um, you know, um, good example. So you are, you are focusing on that. Our parent needs to show values, you know, and then, um, you know, to create time to, you know, to build, you know, all these things. So my question would be, if, for if I'm a parent and I discover that um, some of these things have not been doing it, uh, and I want to change, so how do I go about it? Mm. If, yeah, if I've not been doing the, uh, the right thing and I feel like, no, I need to change, you know, and I want to, you know, I want to work on myself. How do I do it? How do I change from being ungodly or just ordinary parent to a godly parent? Thank you very much for that question, man. Uh, I think in life, we all have one thing or the other that we need to improve on. And um, if, I, if, if one discovers that... Um, there, are, there is a need for a change. I think the first step is acknowledging that, that situation. When we acknowledge it, somebody said that when you know that you have a problem, then that problem is halfway solved. Because you know it's a problem, then it helps you to be able to look for the ways of solving, solving it. 
trying to cover it up will not help. But acknowledgement is one thing. And another thing is we should seek for help. We should seek for help. There are so many resources that are available now, but if we discover one area that we are lacking in those areas, we should seek for help. And Bible says that whoever that lacks wisdom, he should ask God. So going to God in prayer, asking him for help is key. And Bible made us to understand that um, Psalm 46, verse Psalm 1, it says that God is the present help in time of need. There is no help that we need that God is not there to help us with. But we need to go to him in prayer. We need to ask him. And prayer is not a religious activity. It's basically having an honest conversation with God. And when we pray to him, we can pray anywhere. We pray to him that God, please lead me, please guide me. We should also allow the word of God to shape the way we think. Because when God's word shapes the way we think, it therefore means that the resultant actions are influenced by the word of God, which therefore means that the things that we do will be right. God wants to lead us right in all things. So those are just the few things that, and um, we should, when it involves our children, we should let them know that too. There are areas that one is working on too. Because these children, they too, they notice it. They see it. Hmm. They know that daddy is failing in this area. They know that mommy is failing in this area. They know that it's not the best way it should be. Hmm. And he helps them also as children to acknowledge that I may be weak in an area, I can work on that area and become better. Because they've seen daddy admitting that I'm working on this area, I'm improving on it. So they too will be bold enough to admit that yes, there are area I need, areas that I need to work on to improve on. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> God bless you very much. So parents, uh, yeah, how daddy has um, said a lot, and I believe we've learned one or two things. I myself have something really important, you know, from this um, conversation. So, so I will say, may God bless you. I'll quickly recall what our daddy has said. So basically, um, parents, uh, with he said we need to be aware, we need to understand that we are role model. So you are role model to your, to your children. And also, we need to have values. So parents, do you have values? He has that in you know previously do you have values what are your values so we we either have we we have values either we like it or no we might not define it but we have it i want our children know our values so parents we need to work on that we need to try ensure that you know that we have the right values and these values are passed on to our children and also parents um i'd have to use a proverb 22 verse, verse 6 um um uh, as a reference you know to what he was saying so he's saying train up children in the way they should go. And then when they grow up, they will not, you know, they will not depart from heat. So that's God's instruction that we should train them. God wants us to train them. And for us to train someone, then we need to have the resources. We need to have need, we, we can't give what we don't have, like I said. So parents, so we need to ensure that uh, we are training. So we seek for help. We seek for help. We're getting that um, resource out there, you know, even, even from the word of God, which is our, um, um, our uh, the basic of everything. And also parents, we need to, ensure that uh, we observe our daily life. So he mentioned that as well. And then we should always remember that our children may forget what we say, but they will never forget, you know, what uh, we do. So, and we should create time, create, create time, regular play time with our children. This is when we can impart into their lives. So some of our parents out there, you know, uh, some of our parents, especially in the, in, in, in diaspora, we do not have time. You know, we have a lot on our table, but we need to create time. We need to cough out time, you know, for our kids so that we would be able, you know, to impart, you know, our life importance and values into their life, into their lives. And also parents, we need to ensure that we are disciplined them. And also let's know that when we are disciplining our children, we need to do that in love parents and let them know the reason so that parents, children, we know that actually you are, discipline them because you love them. You don't dis discipline them with it. So this means that parents, we should not be, um, we should not be reacting, re reactive. We should be responding, you know, when we should learn to, uh, to respond and not, you know, reacting. So sometimes when we are, 
you know, we, we are correcting them. Some of our operations are reactive, so which is not effective. So then we need to ensure that we are responding properly and we need to teach when we are responding, then that's when we'll be able to, you know, understand why they've done something. You know, some children they've done something not because they are wicked, not because they are bad, but because of their level of understanding. But when we are reacting, then we will have probably spanked them before we realize. And then when we realize, oh my God, you know, I will use an example that at the time when I was teaching a kid, I have one of my kids doing this I somehow so I was not I was not happy because I tried to say well other children, I don't want children to copy, you know, bad habits, you know, from other children. So I tried that's why I was like, no, I'm going to, and then I removed him, you know, from the class. Then later on, after the um, the, the session, so I spoke with um, his um, parents, and I discovered that he was having ice problem. So can you see now? It wasn't that he was doing like that just to um, uh, just to distract other people, but he has ice issues. So, and then we discussed about uh, him using glasses and something like that. You know, just you know. So parent, can you see that if uh, the way I've reacted, you know, I've removed before I realized. So, and so we need to understand that um, we need to be responding so that our correction will be effective. And we need to ensure that our children are accountable as well. So um, let's ensure we give them rules and clear, conse um, clear um, consequences. So let them know that there, there's consequence to their action and the action does not really affect themselves only, but others. So we need to impart these values into them. And like I've uh, asked a question from my dad and he explained that, um, yes, that if we find ourselves wanting in any of these things, parents, first of all, we need that genuity. We need to be able to acknowledge that, oh, no, I've not been doing this thing right. And uh, we should have cover up because what happens is when we watch videos like this, we try to say, oh, the, mm, uh, well, we don't want this perfect. Everybody has their, you know, we, need, we cover up. So we shouldn't cover up. We need to be sincere with ourselves. That's if we love ourselves, we need to be sincere. And then after that, then after we've acknowledged we have this uh, issue, then we shouldn't forget the, the place of um, of God in our life because um, I already referenced that, that we should pray because even the Bible says in the book of is April that we have, uh, James that if we lack wisdom, let's um, we should come to God that He's going to give you give it to us with library without reproach. So we should always, you know, come to God in prayer, talk to God. So like Adari said, he said, um, prayer is not just read your heart; it's just having a genuine, you know, conversation with God. So parents, are we even praying at all? You know, some of us we don't even pray. So we need to pray. We need to tell God that God, this is my problem. And when we pray, then the Spirit of God will help us. We assist us. We aid us. To be able to get that right resources because definitely if you find yourself wanting then you need to do something about it then you need um, you, you need you, you need to seek counsel you need therapy so you need to seek therapist and the spirit of god after in the place of prayer the spirit of god will direct you to that resource that thing that you need and which is going to impart your life and and change and you need to be sincere in that journey let your children know that this is what you're working on probably you get angry easily and then so when the others you know there's a way with the, when you are genuine and children see that you're actually working on yourself and that's a value as well because they went uh in future or even now when they, they, they will also observe and say oh mommy is working on this they want to work on themselves you've told them that in life Everyone is not perfect, but we need to work on ourselves. And you showing that example, that's the series is going to, you know, help them. So parents, we said a lot this, <laughs> this morning. Uh, yeah, we believe you're blessed. Uh, we look forward um, to bring another speaker next week. And then uh, after that, uh, we'll be bringing some of our kids, you know, on board. So children, they want to tell us their perspective, uh, their perspective on, 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 on godly parents. So what they want from their parents, what or, or example they want to see, you know, then I think that is going to be really, really <laughs> interesting. So let's look mm -hmm. forward to that. Um, yes, let's watch this video again. Let's write some things down, make notes of some stuff, work on ourselves. And I pray we go there for so sorry we thank you for your time. I know you are very busy and we really appreciate, you know, are you coming on board, you know, um, today? Yeah, before we round up, sir, I just want to, I know, welcome, sir. <laughs> welcome, sir. Before we round up, I know the children have been very consistent in our class, you know, they don't miss um, the session. So do you want to um, discuss briefly, you know, about just one minute, sir, um, what uh, are the impacts of the program? You know, uh, uh, <laughs> thank uh, you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, ma. It's been very, very good. It's been very educative. And honestly, uh, my children has always been looking forward to the program every time because um, the things that they learn in the class, they are 
track what they put into practice in their everyday life. So they don't want to miss it. And they even tell their parents, they've been, they be, I mean, they tell their friends also. They make references to read that. No, no, Auntie Joy taught us that. No, that's not how to do this. That's not how to do that. That this is the right way to do things. So it's been very helpful. It's helped them in the way they relate with their friends. And um, they are always even looking forward to the opportunity to make presentations. They are always talking about it. Oh, we will do this presentation. They will do that and do that. And which has helped them, it has helped them to grow in the knowledge of the word of God. And it's shaped everything that they do. So thank you very much for the good job that you've been doing. Uh, you've been building nations, like I mentioned earlier. So, and I pray that God will continue to strengthen you and enlarge your course on every side, man. Thank you, sir. Thanks so much for your compliments. God bless you, sir. Amen. So, parents, uh, that's a um, um, quick one from my dad. Um, yes, uh, I know I should have mentioned this to you before this time, sir. But I know it came as a surprise. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, thank you so much for that. Compliment. So, parents, um, yeah, you just, um, um, if, if you feel like, um, you are impressed, you know, with the comment from our dad, you know, you want to co connect your kids, you know, to us, to our program, please uh, feel free, you know, to get in touch with me. Or if you find any other similar, you know, program out there, yes, ensure your children are connected, you know, to uh, godly gathering, to Bible clubs. So I pray may God help us in Jesus' Amen. name. Have a beautiful week ahead. Amen. Thank you very Thank much. <laughs>